Welcome back awesome Astro fans and subscribers. I've got here the Sand Armored Trailer Set. Really looking forward to this. It looks really, really good. So, uh, nice artwork on the front, acid rain on the side, and it says, uh, what does it say? It says, I think it's 88ST, underneath the plastic. Yes, this side is the same. Acid rain on the top, warning it's not a toy on the bottom. Let's open this up and have a look. So on the back it just tells you, or shows you what's inside. It's the Sand Armour Trailer Set, the Sand TL Sergeant, we get one, Armour Trailer 1, Iron Fist Trench Knife, we've seen before, 1, ASMG 6 Submachine Gun, we've seen before, we get one of those, AP2 Pistol times 2, we've seen, and ARL11 Bazooka times 1, I think we've seen that before already, Vehicle Rack and Railing. Let's have a look. I will get a screwdriver to help me open this so I don't actually rip anything. Okay, good. Whatever the screwdriver, you just stick it underneath here and you pick up, then you get the tab out without actually ripping the card. There's a small tip for you. There we go. And yeah, as usual, it's the plastic casing uh, nothing else inside the box here however underneath I can see this normally this would be a big poster of the artwork we saw on the box and instructions on the back let's double confirm that yeah lovely artwork there really like that a lot and then it shows us the contents again how to set up the trailer with the armor. We have to buy the armor with the uh, sand tactical engineer bunker kit. And it shows it can connect to the uh, flak bike. Um, 88 flat bike is showing here. And it can, should be able to connect to a stronghold. And you can put a wildebeest bike on the rack on the back. Which is really good, except my strongholds in Malaysia, and I just shipped back loads of my acid rain to Malaysia uh, last week when I got married. Uh, so I wanted to show that today, unfortunately. So I'll show you the back here. We we'll study that very briefly. Looks pretty cool. I will keep that just here in case I need to refer to it. Let's put that on the top. So we have bags and bags of accessories. So first is the weapons for the sergeant. So yep, we've seen this machine gun before. We've seen these pistols before, the knife before, and this bazooka. Looks new, I can't remember. Um and yep, the round does come out, which is to be expected from Acid Rain. It does look really quite nice. Uh, let's get the figure out next. I do have the Sergeant figure down, uh, sorry, the Sand Tactical Engineer figure down here, which I will compare him to in a minute. He looks the same. Um... I'll put his pistols in. His articulation is going to be great. His shoulders will go just over 180, which is the worst part of his articulation. Um, his bicep bend is going to be amazing, well over, like this sort of angle, well over 90. And he's only got a single um, bicep joint. There's a little tab on his back here, which you're going to attach the knife to. Just push the handle through and bong. Knife stays on. But there's nowhere to stow his machine gun or his uh, bazooka. Let me compare it to the sand engineer. First difference is the hats. He's got like a soul commander helmet and he's got like a uh, normal helmet. He's got the coloured shoulder pad as well. Uh, vests are the same. Slight difference in coloration, and the rest seems the same. Okay, so it's mainly the shoulder pad that's different. 
Okay, we know he holds this well, so let's go straight on to... I should have bicep uh, bend in case you've not seen it yet. I mean, look at that. Look how tight that is. That's a single elbow joint. That is ridiculous. Best single elbow joint bend. Uh, one of the best you'll find on a 118 scale figure. Okay, let's see how he holds his bazooka. Pretty damn well. Trying to get a certain pose here. Can you do it? Just about. He does look pretty damn good. And he also has difference on the back of his helmet. He has that uh, iconography there. Very, very nice looking. Okay, let's look at the armoured sand cart. So we have a bag, two bags. So this bag has got, what's it got inside? Uh, railing and it's got the uh, hook for the back. We'll see how that works in a minute. And this hooks around here. Here we've got two rails in this bag. Uh, and then we've just got the armoured trailer here which looks fantastic um, the wheels move they're a bit tight but that looks so good that's so well painted look at those wheels that's so well painted it feels so nice it feels well it looks good and we've got these little clips on the side which I'm assuming probably wrongly are for the uh, armoured pieces but I'll look at that in a moment Chairs inside, so you can sit eight inside there. Okay, so that comes down and that comes down. Okay. So I'm assuming that these railings will go inside here. Yeah. Oops, wait. Quite a snug fit, so it'll stay in quite nicely once it's in. Just that middle one doesn't want to go in particularly well. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay, so we've got railings around all the sides there. Let me quickly refer to the uh, instructions again. So one of these can go all the way down if need be. Okay. Push this up. This can clip onto where? Aha! So this would clip onto the hole there, and now you can tow it. Okay, that's easy enough. This can clip onto there as well, and you can have a little chain gang of them being towed. That's easy enough. And this is the rack for the wildebeest, for the bike. Okay, let me see. How does this fit on? Oh, this will go downwards. Let me see. 
Is it that simple? It might be that simple. I use this side just slightly more secure. Just pops over like that. So it appears to be. And then you put the bike on, or maybe I should take this off first. You put the bike like that in there, and this will go over and secure the bike in place. That's not, <coughs> excuse me, that's not clipping particularly well. To the sand part i reckon it can go on but i'm scared of forcing that i'm looking at the picture here it's not entirely clear if it goes over the railing or not um i'll put the railing back on and try again and we'll see That's not particularly well on the runnings either. Take that one off one more time and try again. There we go. So yeah, no railing and it's on nice and tight now bike on top and you can hold the bike down there and you've still got your tow hook here if you want and you can fold this up if there's no bike on there very very well thought out and well designed and to take it off let me see how do we take it off should we reverse yeah very well thought out okay let me put this one back on and let's see how we do the armored section now i did Get double the armor section so I could do a full armor display. So we got put it okay. So I've got my sections here and here. Let's join these together first of all. Okay, so that should be the roof. How is that gonna grip on? Let's have a look. Okay, so we have parts on the side here to slot into, slot into, slot into, and corresponding the same parts on the other side. So it should be just a simple case of getting to match up and slide in, I hope. I know that's right, but that is not going to be easy to slide in. I said that and I went in straight away. There we go. There we go. I told a lie, it's actually very quite easy to slide and it snaps into place. Very cool. Uh, do the same on the other side. In fact, this will even go together Constantina style. Look at that. And then this will slide in on this side. That is amazing. And that can be towed along by your flag bike or your stronghold or anything else which has the hook. Just put your attachments in. Or if you prefer, you can have this come off and you can attach your properly I'm struggling on this time you're going to attach your um, you 
your rack for your wildebeest. I've got one side, not the other side. In that case, there we go. You've got to be, you've got to be accurate because there's a little notch in it, which corresponds to a notch in the actual back. There's a little notch you can see here, and there's a little gap for that here and here. So long as that's done right, it should go on quite nicely. There. Now I can hook your bike on the back. Put them inside, off you go. You can do this half cover instead if you wanted, which might be quite interesting too. In fact, what I'll do, I'll put the, sar the uh, sergeant sitting down inside, see how well he fits. Seats him a little bit small. And his belt does get in the way of the articulation slightly. So he's not actually sitting in that well. He's sort of doing a back against the wall, no ass against the seat sort of position there. He can sit in there, but you have to maybe take his belt off to get the range of motion you need. But you will fit eight in there. Okay, so to take this off, it will be just a case of sliding up from both sides. There we go. Um, with this together, remember these parts do fold out, so you can actually fold it if you wanted to. You can up Constantine off. So you know you could do you could put them together like that if you wanted. And have a wall like that, or something else, whatever floats your boat. Uh, very nice. I'm gonna take this off and this one off. In fact, I will just use these ones here. I will attach them together. And do just one covering on this, just to get an idea of what it looks like with a single. It's a bit unusual like that because we've got a steering wheel and drive it, but it still works. Definitely worth getting a couple of the uh, sand bunker sets, so you get two of these. So you can actually do a full covering on your armor tread. This is a really, really nice set. Well worth picking up, particularly if you're into your uh, your GI Joe. Obviously, if you're into your acid rain or your marauder figures, gun runner figures, etc. Scale is fantastic. Um, if I look at the prospector, she can get more better articulation. Her belt doesn't get in the way. And she'll sit in the chair. Let's put her feet forward a little bit. Yeah, she sits in the chair quite nicely. No problem for her to sit in the chair. You can get eight figures in there sitting down. If you get the posing right, that's no problem. Great, great figure, great set, definitely worth picking up. I do highly recommend this. And such nice features with this and the uh, tow bar hook and the uh, the ring so you can have more than one going in the convoy. Worth picking up, definitely, definitely highly recommend. I think this is one of the releases of the year. This is really, really nice. Okay, this is Automatic Toys signing out, saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to the more Automatic Toys videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, and please click on the notification icon, the one shaped like a bell, to step to date latest uploads and videos, okay? Bye-bye.